So here we are again so soon. It's like 7.30 at night here in Denver. And that <laughs> I, I outlined exactly how I did to you, how I'm the absolute wrong person to be slandering with the claims he's making. So, hmm. But any who's... Oh, oh. Okay, heading down the hallway, take two. <laughs> Trying to keep my son in the apartment because it's just plain not safe for him to accompany me on this mission to deal with Eric Lucky Charms. So, <laughs> had to get him back in the home and explain to him that it's safe in the home and mommy will be right back. I got to deal with something that is so not his problem. So yeah, Eric Lucky Charm says he's downstairs with my money and he's demanding the title and a bill of sale for the Chevy, the old scrap heap that my old master got to keep me dependent on him because the third cylinder was blown. He's demanding the title and the bill of sale like I'm the criminal who's not going to give him that. <laughs> I'll give it to him. I don't want the car no more. I, it's a piece of crap. I don't want it. And I don't want to sell it to some nice person who deserves a good car. I'd rather unload it on some criminal scumbag. So... And he's just got to try and turn stuff around, and he doesn't have anywhere to turn it around on, too. So, oh, sweet, I think security's here. Let's see if I could draft one. Okay. Thanks for coming out with me. Well, the thing is, I asked, you know, every mechanic I know, hey, my car broke down, do you have a station wagon? And, you know, or a minivan or a something bigger than a sedan. And he's the first one who texted me back with the Subaru Outback. And uh, he promised to do uh, the, the bunch of work that it needed, and that was part of the sale. Well, 17 days later, he's done zero of the work, and he's been janking me around for the money. So I've been documenting the whole thing because like, I'm a member of American Descendants of Slavery and the NAACP. And so I'm working with them to end discrimination and racism and all that junk. And so I'm documenting this fraud along with anything else that goes on. And so he's all heated about it, and here he is. All right, the last of the 400. Excellent. That's the 1500 back. And here's the title to the Chevy that I've tried to give you two or three times now. Yep, well, it's, it's in my former name, but I haven't gotten my maiden name driver's license yet, so it's all... Nah. I haven't had time to do anything about that since December, and I got other priorities. Odometer reading. Uh, what's it got? 188,000? Okay. 190,000. Actual mileage. Sellers, new printed name. Appears same. Sherlyn E. Stetzer. Oh, I'll keep 
745. Uh, there ain't room for PM, so I put military, 17, 1943. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. So otherwise, you got lines out the box, and you get the wrong asshole at the DMV. And the, <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, now. I'm going to call me a criminal. Now that it's finally set right. Now that it's finally set right. <sighs> Thank you. 80% of perps come clean when faced with a pile of evidence. And that's what I did. So I finally got my money back. <laughs> But yeah, he's been real heated and trying to say I'm attacking him because he's black. I've done more for all minorities than he's done for himself. You, you can't bark up the absolute wrong tree. It's like if you're playing soccer and the whole stands are shouting, wrong way, wrong way, and you're just looking for some good. Oh! <laughs> so thank you for, yeah. He won't come near the security cameras, of course. <laughs> what? There's already one security camera. Oh, there was one back there? Yeah, we have uh, one facing that way in the parking lot and one on that side. Oh, okay, sick. Because I've been trying to hang out by the front door one and he's been like, nah, -uh. and I've been like, oh, I'm glad I got my rolling. So, thank you. Have a wonderful day. And boy, you're going to see a nice minivan in that parking lot in a day or two. And it's going to be mine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, neighbor. Ah, oh, doing epic. I just busted a scammer. So, yeah, sorry. Let me shut off camera. Sick, tight, and dope. Sick, tight, and dope. Victory. <laughs> Every time, predators get a little bit dumber, and I get a whole lot smarter. <laughs> it's the only thing that busted them was busting them. Otherwise, he would have just run off with my 1500 and I wouldn't have had a car. So, ah, oh, goody gumdrops. 1500 back in my hand. And then now I can give my son a haircut and a bath and get him ready for school tomorrow. And I get to go to the DMV and get my license fixed. And, whew, and go get a minivan. Minivan. All right. I've just been chatting with the guy with the minivan I found on Facebook. And, oh man, it looks even better than the other minivan I was gonna get. So, oh boy. I'm going to drop Aaron off at school tomorrow. Go to the DMV and get my stolen driver's license replaced with my maiden name back on it. And, oh. Gonna go get a minivan. It's like way across town from where the DMV is, but that's okay. I'll just live on a bus. That's okay. That's okay. Because I'll be living in a minivan real soon. <laughs> Hippie Collective Hope is gonna just be slamming on that van. Woo! Oh, there he is texting me back, probably. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like an excited 16-year-old kid because I'm going to get to pay cash for a good vehicle. That's all I've ever wanted was a vehicle that ain't going to fall apart. 
Oh, I'm so excited.